Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is the second one in a series on photosynthesis. And in this video cast, we're going to look at the two parts of photosynthesis that you need to know something about. They're called the light reactions and the Calvin cycle. Now, photosynthesis happens in two stages or steps. Uh, this is actually a very complicated bit of chemistry, but we're just going to break it down into two major stages. Okay, the first stage is called the light reactions and the second stage is called the Calvin cycle. Now the light reactions are called the light reactions because they only happen when chlorophyll is exposed to light. So light has to be shining on the chlorophyll for the light reactions to happen. And the light reactions do two things. They energize ADP into a different chemical called ATP. I'll explain what that means in a few minutes. And it also breaks water molecules down into electrons, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes also. Now, ATP is the standard energy molecule for all living cells. It's the energy molecule that cells use to do all the work that they need to do, and they're constantly running out of it. Now, you start with a molecule called ADP, which is up here at the top, and ADP basically has a molecule with two phosphate groups attached, and these phosphate groups are attached with a, with covalent bonds that store energy. So I've represented the energy with these little yellow stars. So the phosphate groups are held on by these energetic covalent bonds, tiny little bits of energy here. And ADP is called DP because it has two, or diphosphates. One, two. All right. Now what happens in the light reactions is we're changing ADP into ATP by attaching another phosphate. And the energy to attach the third phosphate is coming from the light reactions. Okay, so what we end up with down here at the bottom now is another molecule called ATP, which has one, two, three phosphates instead of just two. All right, and this molecule, because it has energy here, here and here contains more energy. So you can think about it as like batteries. ADP is kind of like a partially drained battery, okay? And ATP is a fully charged molecule, okay? And if the energy has been put in, it can be taken back out to do work. And that's exactly why cells need a constant supply of ATP to stay alive. Now the light reactions also break water molecules down into electrons, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen. And this is a good place to review exactly what a mole water molecule looks like. So we're going to start with an oxygen atom, and we're going to attach to it two hydrogen atoms okay, to give us the H2O formula. Now these hydrogen atoms are held to the oxygen by pairs of electrons, which I've represented here with these little yellow circles. And what the light reactions do is they break the water molecule down into oxygen, free electrons, and free hydrogen ions. Okay. Now because these hydrogen ions have lost their electrons, they're also known as protons or H plus ions. Okay. So these are the free electrons and this is a single oxygen. Now what happens is this single oxygen will combine with another one that's been broken down to produce something called O2, which is a, um, a double molecule here. All right. Now, the Calvin cycle is the second part of the light reactions, and it is powered by the products of the light reactions. Okay? And the Calvin cycle uses ATP, which we just talked about, hydrogen ions, which we ju I just showed you where they come from, and those free electrons, okay, which are coming from the light reactions, to convert six carbon dioxides which I've drawn in right here, into one glucose. All right, so I'm going to try to animate this and see if you can see how it works. So this wheel here represents the Calvin cycle. So this is the Calvin cycle. Well, that didn't help at all. Okay, the um, Calvin cycle, of course, um, C, C, Calvin cycle. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the ATP energy. We're going to add the hydrogen ions. And we're going to add the electrons. And finally, six carbon dioxides. And if all those things are going into this um, endless cycle, what is produced is glucose. And glucose is squirted out as a product. Okay. So the purpose of the Calvin cycle is to make glucose. And it makes glucose by combining all these components in an endless cycle of chemical reactions. 
All right, we'll stop there. Thanks for listening. The next video cast is going to be on the idea of carbon fixation and what it means to be a fossil fuel.